You're not paying for a product. You're paying for an animal's life. Walking next to you may seem to be Just another little thing in the world you see But the truth is it just means so much to me Oh, I'm gonna wag my tail Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of P.D. Pinoffin. Yep, that's me. Today's video is, once again, <laughs> about tails. I've been making a lot of videos about tails and I'm aware of that. I'm very sorry about it. I know many of you are probably irritated or bored by all those videos about tails by now. But I make those because I find it quite, quite important that people know what they're doing when they consider getting a tail. If this video will be about real fur tails and the truth behind those real fur tails. Those may look very cute, very soft, very just just want to hug them and sniff them and, and and wear them and but why they have a lot of fun and they look beautiful I love tails they ain't as innocent as you think they are because you know tails real full tails are from real animals animals that lived animals that died no, we'll be going about a lot of things, like places you can get a tail, prices and pros and cons of those places and like the truth around those places. Uh, now we know the standard, you have sheep tails, you got like average tails and you have expensive tails. People are tend to go for the sheep tails, tails like these, because they're sheep, they're easy to get, uh, they arrive like without any problem. Um, you can buy them all over the world. Those tails are usually bought on Wish, AliExpress, Amazon or eBay. Um, and sometimes also fur tails. And then I've got like average tails where I bought sometimes in local stores, more often cheaper ones on Etsy or cheaper ones on Amazon, stuff like that. And those are like these usually. They look uh, pretty much the same, a little bit better maybe than the previous ones. And then you got like the more expensive tails, or tails from local farmers, like kind of more hobby uh, instead of real kind company. You got them from uh, Etsy sales, so a little bit more expensive, or like who are doing this as a hobby or as a serious job. You got them from uh, Europa and American fur farms mainly, or from um, just Etsy in general. And then you have them all three compared to each other. You got the Wish Tail, AliExpress, eBay, Ship Amazon. You get like the average price tail from more expensive Amazon, local shop, maybe a local market. And you got the mm, more expensive one from Etsy, hobby taxidermist, hobby farmer. Uh, not giant fur companies. And then you have them all three together and you see a lot of things already. From quality, from 0 to 10. <laughs> you got sheep tails and you got hella expensive tails. What's the difference between a sheep tail and a hella expensive tail? Your answer will be money. Of course that's the difference between sheep and expensive, it's money. No, it's a life full of pain and torture and and, and, and just cruel as, as, as it can be. And a life that's not as painful or torture, a life that is satisfied enough compared to, well yeah, this poor life. So sheep wish tails are just generally already a lot of less quality compared to the more expensive taxidermist, Etsy, local fur farmer tails. As you can see, why is this? I have a less quality tail for the way cheaper price. One, that's kind of logical because if you buy cheap products, you're more easily to get a less quality product. But two, can you feed yourself for five months with two dollars? Can you clean your bed? Can you clean your room? Can you drink? Can you clean yourself with water for five months with two dollars? Can you go to the doctor? Can you go uh, buy some bandages or some 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 medicines for two dollars? 
for five months? You can't even buy nuggets for two dollars. What do you expect when you buy a two dollar tail on Wish from an animal that lived five months with two dollars to be able to be cared of, fed, washed, cleaned, medical attention? So how can you get a good living animal, nice life, no pain, no cruelty for two dollars? You can't. That's the easiest answer I can give you. Any tail you buy from big company fur farms, especially outside of Europe and America, because Europe and America have quite strict laws still around fur farming, uh, like China and stuff like that don't, so they don't have any law around animals and how they have to be treated. So when you buy a tail on Amazon, AliExpress, Wish, eBay, uh, stuff like that, you're Buying a tail from a fur farm that's very cruel. Fur farms are where foxes live in cages who are only cleaned once a year. Poop just build up in giant towers underneath the cage because it's poop for an entire year. Animals who live with multiple animals in a cage for fed very bad food just to be able to produce as many fur as possible and actually feed them as less as possible um, because they don't need to live long, uh, so don't, they don't have to be healthy. They're usually not killed by painkillers and then like or poison or stuff like that they're killed by being with six on the head um, slitting their throat, skin the life, drown um, stones on their head, stuff like that painful stuff because it's easy and it's cheap and that's why the tails are already of less quality they cruel fur farms animals suffer their entire life to give you this one tail. I'll, I'll include some photos. Uh, this is warning, guys. It's it's graphic. It's bad. It's triggering. So uh, so skip a few seconds. I will put over here when you uh, home machine have to skip. Inside the rows of filthy wire floored cages were around 100 foxes and 2,500 minks. The cages often had over a foot of feces piled up underneath them. Minks were frequently found dead. The foxes at the facility fared no better. D2 was killed in a makeshift gas chamber along with other foxes. Boy, he put a hell of a fight. Workers crammed dozens of minks into this metal drum at one time and pumped it full of dirty gas from a running engine, crudely suffocating them in mass. It broke my heart to learn just how terribly animals suffer and die on Chinese fur farms and that there are no penalties for this abuse. Please join me in taking a look at where most of the world's fur originates and who's really paying the ultimate price for it. When investigators toured the fur farms in China, what they discovered was beyond their worst nightmares. Animals are bludgeoned, have their necks stomped on, and are then hung by their hind legs or tails and skinned alive. As workers cut the fur off the animals' bodies, they kick and writhe in pain because they're still alive. When the fur is finally peeled off the animals, their furless, bloody bodies are thrown onto a pile of other animals who have gone before them. At another animal market in China, investigators discovered trucks loaded with up to 800 dogs and cats in tiny wire cages. Many of the animals still had collars on, a sign that they had once been someone's beloved companion. The animals are still alive and tossed from the tops of trucks like garbage. When the cages hit the ground, the animals' bones are instantly shattered. And after that, they're bludgeoned, hanged, or strangled with wire nooses so that their fur can be turned into trim or trinkets. Okay, you skipped it, so you know now that those tales from Vision, AliExpress, eBay and Amazon are very cruel tales with cruel lives. Um, now you have those little bit less cheap, still $10, but still from Amazon, Wish or or AliExpress or eBay, they ain't studios because but they're 10. They're usually quite better, a lot better at quality. They look a lot better than those wish tails. Um, those two dollar wish tails. So they look a lot better and they're a lot softer, they're stronger, they ain't sewn together. It's sewn on top right here. You see that stretch? It's sewn. 
makes do stuff like this like just it's 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 sewn on it's not as strong the in dyed blue which by the way they uh, consciously dye uh, a tail blue because by example silver foxes you see black over here but actually it's just gray like this because when you feed a fox less quality food your colors will be kind of off they won't be as bright and as beautiful as a good quality tail uh, but they have still they still have the salto tails, so they dye them blue, so the grey becomes black. Uh, this is why the tails are usually kind of blue, uh, and just like the overall fur is just plain blue. They are still dyed blue actually, but a lot less as you can see, um, like a lot less. They're still kind of a bit dyed blue to be able to have better color. They are smaller compared to big tails. The, like they small compared to big good quality tails, uh, they but they still they still look better. No, those tails are still very very cruelly obtained. Small cages, not very clean. Multiple foxes in one cage. Pet food. This is like two to five dollars. It's like ten to twelve dollars on which AliExpress. But then you have your good quality tails from Etsy, uh, from local fur farmers, who ain't big companies. Uh, they are from local taxidermists who either uh, breed foxes on a hobby level or uh, go out and find roadkill and like get the fur from there. They usually cost 10 to 20, 30, 40, 60 dollars. They are a little more expensive. Actually, the more expensive, the less cruel usually. But that's not always, of course. People still want to make money, so. It's not currently, it's more expensive and stuff like that, but they're also just a lot better quality because they have lived a lot better life. They're longer because they're from older foxes instead of younger foxes, and foxes were able to grow bigger because they had big cages and stuff like that. 90% of tails are gained from Wish, Aliexpress, Amazon, wholesale companies, uh, big giants producing fur farms and have no laws about how we have to trade an animal so they can just be there with a stick and that's totally fine. Um, you often get tails from dogs and cats even because that's even cheaper for them. So also be aware that not all fox tails you buy are actually fox. Now I'm pretty sure this is a fox because it's a silver fox but sometimes you just have a cat or a dog tail. Yeah, you, you can see it. I don't have to say much. You can see the difference between a sheep cruel tail and a better quality, less cruel tail. It's still, it's still an animal's life, an animal that died for you. Uh, so it's still not like fake fur tail, but at least it's not an animal that suffered throughout its entire life. The yeah, point is that you're playing an animal's life and you're not buying a product and that many animal lives are gained very cruel and you have to do research on stores. I mainly, mainly, mainly recommend to look on Etsy or local taxidermists, local roadkill scavengers, like people who go out there and try to collect roadkill and sell those, local fur farms because if you live in the USA by example or in Europe farms in Europe and USA have very strict laws and so they are a lot, le lot less cruel while fur farms from China are always cruel because they don't have any laws on it. Um, but mainly local hobby people, local taxidermists, local shops, local fur farms, local anything local if you live in the USA or a Europe country or at Etsy are the best places ever you can get. I'm sorry about telling this to you guys but just Tails and innocent. And now we have a good day, please. Enjoy your tail, enjoy, enjoy your not tail if you don't have a tail and don't want a tail. Uh, I'll see you soon back again in another video. I don't know when this is, but yeah, see you soon.